Are you crazy? Oh, am I? Am I? Am I out of my mind? Am I losing my senses? <laughs> this dreamy guy is taking my girlfriend out for a meal. This is about Rachel and something wonderful happening for her. <laughs> I mean, you know, even if you're right, what if he wants to sleep with her? Does that mean he gets to? No, but... I mean, don't you trust her? Well, yeah. It's... Then get over yourself. Grow up. You grow up. To grow up. To become an adult. To change from being a baby or a young child to being an adult. Examples. I promise that I will work my hardest to make this show great so that a whole new generation of kids will grow up and they will be able to say that Professor Proton was the reason they got into science. Wow. So you have childhood issues. We all have childhood issues. At some point, you just need to grow up and get past them. Fire! Fire! Whatever, please let me handle this, please. Look, let No. Hey, Sheldon. What happened? I was cooking in the back room last night and the hot plate caught on fire. And you couldn't put it out. I was across the street at the do-it-yourself car wash taking a shower. <laughs> to put out. This very common phrasal verb has five basic meanings. To make something stop burning. To put something in a place where someone will see it so that they can use it or have it. To cause difficulties for someone by making or asking them do something for you. To agree to have sex. Informal. To make information generally known or to publish something. Examples. You're not a hero. I put out a fire. The fire you started. Was there a fire? Yes. Did I put it out? That's Answer the question. Yes. Phoebe, put that cigarette out. No, it's not a cigarette. The smoke is coming out of me. <laughs> put it out. OK, OK. Hi. Hi. Do you know what time it is? It's candy time. <laughs> Can I get some candy? Um, listen, I'm sorry, but I'll put some out first thing in the morning. Well, OK, I'll swing by later. Hey. 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 Uh, oh. <laughs> Phoebes? <laughs> Skull? Oh, yeah, it's my mom's. Oh, my God! No, 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 it's not, it's not my mom. It belonged to my mom. Yeah, no, she used to put it out every Christmas to remind us that even though it's Christmas, people still die. Should we just go back to Pawnee? Yeah. Nonsense. There's no reason to drive all the way back home. I've got a perfectly good condo right here in the city. Oh, we couldn't put you out like that. Double nonsense. I would love to have you stay with me. Leslie, you can take the guest room, and Ben, you have to sleep on my couch. It is literally the comfiest couch you've ever been on. You know, I think it's about time for you and Henry to come over for dinner. Oh, well, we'd love that, but we don't want to put you out. Oh, no, not at all. All of it would be delighted. Hey, hey babes, how'd it go with Scott last night? Oh, um, it was nice. Took him to a romantic restaurant, ordered champagne. Nice. The guy still won't put out, huh? Nope, zilch, nothing. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. Phoebe. Uh -huh. You are good-looking. Thank you. You're funny. No, oh, thanks. You're smart. A few tears wouldn't hurt. Okay, would you freaking marry me already? <laughs> of course already? I'll marry you. <laughs> of course. But, um, until you see a ring on this finger, don't expect me to put out. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I haven't thought at all about how I put myself out there and and said all that stuff, and how you didn't feel the same way about me, and, and, and how it was really awkward. I've gone the way of Jane's addiction. Actually, Jane's addiction got back together. They did? Yeah, they've done a few tours. They put out a new album. Are you serious? That is awesome. Are they just as good? Sure. I love you, Penny. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Oh, yeah, yeah no. I, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, oh, good. Uh, good. Glad is good. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no, no. Um. Look, you are a great guy, and it is the things you love that make you who you are. Well, I think it's time for me to get rid of this stuff and, you know, move on with my life. Really? Yeah. Oh. Wow, good for you. Thanks. To move on. 
to accept that a situation has changed and be ready to deal with new experiences. To start a new activity or job, especially after you have spent a long time doing a previous activity or job. Examples. Well, Rachel's having drinks with him tonight. Oh no! How can she do that when she's never shown any interest in you? <laughs> Forget about her. He's right, man. Please, move on. Go to China. Eat Chinese food. Excuse me, everyone. Uh, this is my last night working here. And uh, I just wanted to say that I made some really good friends here. And uh, it's just time to move on. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, soup. I mean, noodle soup. I mean, soup. Come on! You know what? We need to move on. Oh, no, I, I could do it one more time. I say, mm, look. Mmm, noodle soup. Damn it! I let down my mom and dad today, and worse than that, I let down my teacher. It's all my fault. Everything I touch turns to detention. I'm sorry, Mom. To let down. To make someone disappointed by not doing something that they are expecting you to do, or because you have failed to do what you promised. To betray someone. Examples. When that guy was robbing us and I was locked in the entertainment unit for like six hours, do you know what I was doing in there all that time? I was thinking about how I let you down. But if I don't know what kind of friend you were going to turn out to be, I wouldn't have worried about it so much. See you around. Wait, come on, wait, just wait one second. There has to be something that I can do, something. If we still had that entertainment unit, I would get in there for six hours and think about how I let you down. I can't believe we lost her. What was I thinking? I'd be a terrible mom. Stay quiet. Hey, <laughs> bad timing. Bernadette just took Cinnamon out for a walk. Interesting. Did they take a walk down Liar's Lane? <laughs> what? A lane frequented by liars like you, you big liar. <laughs> you have her? Oh, thank God she's okay. Well, I trusted you and you let me down. The poor thing's been shaking for hours. I'm really sorry. Okay, here are the tips for this morning. Mm, Jen gets 50, 50 for me, and Joey owes $8. <laughs> what? For all the free food you gave away. Well, if it's free food, how come you're charging me for it? We don't give anything away unless it's someone's birthday. Hmm. To give away. To give something for free, as a gift, or without expecting anything in return. To tell information or facts that you should keep secret. If someone gives the bride away, they officially present her to her husband. Examples. We may not be who she thinks we are, but no one will ever love that baby more than us. I know. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take for someone else to give us a baby. Monica, I want a baby, too. But this woman is giving away her child. She deserves to know who it's going to. Hey, uh, Lel, are you done washing my clothes yet? Because oh, I... I am so sorry. Your clothes accidentally wound up in the bag I donated to Goodwill. <laughs> you gave away my clothes? They were a bit fancy for East Meadow. People were staring. You gotta hear this story. Uh, we're on this bus that's uh, easily 200 years old, e right? 200 at least. And this guy... And the chicken poops in her lap! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just gave away the ending, didn't I? Oh, it's just, I just heard this story in the cab, and it is all I can think about. <laughs> I don't really need their permission. Yeah. If you want to sing at their wedding, well, you sing at their wedding. Yeah, and if you want to look 19, then you... You gotta do something about your eyes. What? What's wrong with my eyes? They give you away. There's just, there's too much wisdom in there. I think we're calling off the wedding. What? Carol, what's the matter? What happened? My parents called this afternoon to say they weren't coming. Oh, my God. I mean, I knew they were having trouble with this whole thing, but... But they're my parents. I mean, they're supposed to give me away and everything. Okay. Okay. Joey's doing the ceremony, and Chandler's giving you away. Oh, okay. Hi, new dad. <laughs> hey, babe. Um, could you dig up our warranty? I took the TV apart, and I made a robot out of it. To take apart. 
to separate the parts of something so that they are not together. Examples. You don't have to do that. I mean, we have already put together chairs. That's how we buy them, actually. Oh, I'm trying to adjust the lumbar support on Toby's chair, and that made this up-down lever thing not work, and then I took the whole chair apart, and that is the story of me on the floor. It's pretty good, right? What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. Well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think it'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than ten minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... Oh! My God! I know! It's stuck! Steph, how did it get on? Well, I put it on to scare Chandler. Oh, my God! Monica's gonna totally freak out! Well, then help me get it off. Plus, well, it smells really bad in here. To freak out, to become, or cause someone to be in a very emotional state of fear, anger, panic, or excitement. Examples. Oh, I tasted Ben's milk and Ross freaked out. I, I did not freak out. Why'd you freak out? Because it's breast milk. It, it's, it's gross. My breast milk is gross? This should be fun. Is everything okay? Look, I'm gonna tell you something, but you can't freak out because I'm already freaking out. Oh my God, what is it? I'm pregnant again. What? <laughs> Interesting. Hello, miss. It's what Phoebe. Oh, oh. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? Yeah, um, I was over there and then you said, excuse me, hello, miss, so now I'm here. How come you're working here? Right, yeah, because it's close to where I live and the aprons are really cute. <laughs> Can we start over? Yeah, okay, great. I'm going to be over here. No, 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 no. To start over. To begin doing something again from the beginning. Examples. Really? You want me to sing Soft Kitty to a computer monitor? Would you rather come over and sing it to me in person? Soft Kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Closer to the microphone. Happy kitty, sleepy No. Kitty. You have to start over. Penny's friend Zach stopped by and said hello, and I said, who? Who? Zach. Then why did you ask? Ask what? Who? Zach. All right, let's start over. What did you say when Zach walked in? Who? Zach. Check it out, check it out. Heckle's high school yearbook. Ooh. Wow, he looks so normal. Yeah, he's even kind of cute. Heckle's, you cracked me up in science class. You're the funniest kid in school. Funniest? Heckle's? That's what it says. To crack up. To laugh a lot at something, or to make someone laugh a lot. Examples. That cute coffee girl wrote a heart by your name. Mm -hmm. Somebody has a crush on you. I mean, I guess it's not that surprising. Every time I come in here, I do totally crack her up. Marshall, here's your pumpkin latte. Wow. How'd you fit a pumpkin into this little cup? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, with this joke. Look, well, I gotta say, I know I cracked up, but I, I'm not even sure I got it. <laughs> but you didn't get it? The doctor is a monkey. <laughs> And monkeys can't write out prescriptions. <laughs> we would just like to announce that our party is starting now in the break room. So I have a bye. very important announcement to make about your paychecks. Um, please stand by for a very important announcement further regarding your paycheck. To stand by, to be waiting and ready to do something to allow something unpleasant to happen without doing anything to stop it, to support or be loyal to someone or something. Examples. Why do you even want this here? Its size is completely disproportionate to its purpose. Well, seeing as its purpose was to piss you off, I'd say it's spot on. <laughs> this is the opening salvo in what will be an escalating series of juvenile tit-for-tat exchanges. Well titted. 
Thank you. Stand by for my upcoming tat. How long was I in that dryer? Because it, I, is this why I'm afraid of tumbling? I had to quit gymnastics, Claire. A childhood without tumbling? Oh. You knew this and just stood by and did nothing? Okay, okay, what's done is done. What's all this about you guys fighting? <laughs> is this really over a room? I mean, that is so silly. Ross, we can handle this. Well, uh, apparently not. And I can't just stand by and watch two people I care about so much be hurt by something that is so silly. I want our attraction. Our food is not inedible swill. I couldn't eat it. I have five friends who couldn't eat it, and one of them eats books. <laughs> you said that we accept the Discover card, which we do not. All right. That I'll retract. But I stand by my review. I, mean, I know food, and that wasn't it. You think he manipulates me? All the time. <laughs> and he knew that as your girlfriend, I wasn't gonna stand by and let him bring a table into your apartment. I mean, a table? Come on! <laughs> Amy, Farrah Fowler. Well, no, <laughs> wait. You were really gonna stand by me against the dining room table? Of course I was. How do I know that you're not manipulating me right now? I think if I were manipulating you, you'd be smart enough to see it. Okay. Was there fire? Yes. Did I put it out? I can't just stand by and watch. I just gave away the ending, didn't I? Well, I trusted you and you let me down. Get over yourself. Grow up. You grow up. Empty room. Empty room. Empty room. When somebody says come in, I'm gonna freak out.